Hello there, in this tutorial I'm going to discuss about uh, moving a mailbox database. Now, uh, moving a mailbox database is for example that uh, you have a user and using some different mailbox and wants to uh, utilize a different mailbox for some reason, for some extent, wants to utilize the different mailbox then it is possible that uh, you can migrate the mailbox uh, database. Uh, as of now for example if I see the user call under and out there in the uh, general information and in the in user information you can see that this particular mailbox uh, uh, this particular user uh, having the mailbox database called MD1 it means that uh, a mailbox consists and uh, is in MD1 database now for example wants to change that you can very much change that to mailbox database as well now for example and, and how to do that you can see the right click you get the options called new local move request and there is another call new remote move request either you can locally move the uh, uh, database or you can uh, move the database to the, some remote server some remote exchange server which are not belongs to this particular exchange server and somewhere else then you can do that from there as well but as of now in our system since only one mailbox is there that's why we are moving at locally only we have the database already there uh, as of now Android is connected to the MD1 so we are going to target the mailbox which is created locally and we want to uh, use that uh, database so I'm just going to browse now I have two database out there which I have created for my own MD1 and MD2 so for example I said MD2 now there is an option called move options you can find it out to specify how you want to manage a corrupt message in a mailbox so in, for example you have a corrupt messages then uh, whether you want those corrupt messages or not so it's totally like for example since those are corrupt and if are not usable then you can uh, let it go so there is an option called skip the message mailbox and and there is also an uh, option called skip the corrupted message for example you can set the numbers like 10 15 20 25 uh, like that so if you have more than 50s more than 30 or something like that then first 25 will be uh, uh, going to uh, restore back in the different MD mail, mail database which is you have selected already so I'll say the skip the mailbox and just keep and we don't want to keep the crap mailbox let it go and I'm just saying that uh, we're going to uh, go with the new and it will take some time now the uh, process is that even before exchange server uh, not before 2010 as well in the exchange server there is was the option call where we can move the mailbox but nowadays what happens that in exchange 2010 even if you are moving the mailbox the the option will be there with you to keep uh, getting that uh, mailbox with you means for example the mailbox will remain online and you will have the option to get access with it and even user can keeps on sending the mail before there is a no more option like that before you have to shut it down shut it the mailbox down and uh, unless you're not using then at till that time the mailbox will not to be usable you get the error message like you're not able to send a message you're not able to send a mail or you not even have that such as as well but with 2010 you get that option which it's quite a dynamic nowadays that you get an option that uh, even if you are moving the database uh, you can still have the option to uh, have the database you can see the mail database has been changed with md2 just so uh, same like that you can see in the properties out there so it means that there is an option where 
you can change the mailbox but with outlook 2010 you can very much uh, have that access of mailbox and even uh, clients can send you the mail so it means that you have a connectivity but in before in earlier version of exchange there was no such uh, facilities out there means you have to schedule that at, at this timeline at two or three hours timeline we requires to move the mail to a different database it will take time to to uh, move and that's why uh, infrastructure environment have to shut down the mail but as of now with 2010 it become dynamic it's more efficient influence to us uh, uh, move the database from uh, whatever existing database you are having with the different database and you can change uh, at any time you request for and you have uh, uh, all the access even though you are moving the database so hope you learned something about uh, moving the database from uh, at, at microsoft exchange windows exchange server 2010 thanks for watching